you know, when we, when we're accessing um, <clears throat> our own energy. Um, so I just want to kind of break it down. Energy really is, is just information, right? And so when, you know, how we're having this podcast right now, we have information of energy kind of going back and forth, right? And so um, everything in our experience is so subjective, right? And how we experience ourselves is really through a lens of so much um, experience. We're all just a bunch of experiences experiencing each other. So when, when a person has a little bit of space to themselves and, and it's this deep understanding of how their body's communicating with them, right? And that can be done through like a body scan, um, how we interpret how we um, kind of compute that information that the body is always speaking to us. So if you close your eyes, and I often do this with clients when they are, um, when we're trying to get into the emotional body, for example, um, how they experience the emotional body, like every single one of my clients is so different. It's mm -hmm. not the same. It's so subjective, right? So how somebody experiences um um, the emotion of rage in their body, where it where it exists. I mean, there's some commonalities of like on a, a scale on a Hertzig gig where where different emotions sit in the body, but how that individual experiences it. Some people are going to see visuals. Some people are going to hear things. Some people are going to um, have the the knowing in their body. It's like a a flutter that kind of like a visceral feeling that moves through the body. It's like what we would call kind of claircognizance, clear audience, clear um, what whatever label or word that you want to put on it. But in in how we receive information of energy, and we can do this when we're engaging with people too. It's that um, it's it's our nervous systems engaging with each other, right? Like when you walk into a room, we all can walk in and perceive the room differently but we're all scanning this is done on such the energetic and subconscious level right mm -hmm. and we're all scanning for information like what's going on in this room what feels safe da, 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 da. we're we're putting it through and this literally is the first language that we have ever learned like as we're children we don't have language but we know how to read energy but some you know. people will have this um really nostalgic feeling and, and it's it's them experiencing energy and that gives them the confidence to then engage with their own body. They're like, okay, this is how I experience energy. This is how I can engage with my body. This is how my body's like talking to me. And this is how I can actually move and become my own alchemist, right? Moving and transmuting um, maybe repressed or stuck energy or just having a conversation with a or higher self, the soul, whatever is, um, maybe it's a spirit guide. This is all in the causal body realm where, you know, engaging with that. But 